you won't feel anything yet. Eating takes longer. Cool. No rush, though. Your luxury five-star accommodation awaits. What? Shouldn't we keep moving? You called me, remember? Dragged me away from a dead good movie to come and spring you. Yeah, and I'm grateful. Was I really dumb to hope that we might be back on? I told you, you were all I could think about inside. Yeah, I know. So you're using me, basically. It's not on. Look, I'm not using you. I want to be with you, but not like this on a bed of monkey socks. So just use your imagination, yeah? Let me take care of everything. You've got two seconds to get out. You better not have laid a finger on her, do you hear me? Mum, why aren't you in Scotland? Take a guess, Sarah. Hang on, you've come back for me. How did you find me? We used a tracker app, Sarah. Schoolgirl Larry, yeah? I've heard my dad's version now, I want yours. Still not heard? No. She can't have gone far. I mean, she spent half her life being lectured on how to keep safe. Well, it's not Sarah I'm worried about, it's Danny. And it'd be even worse now to spend some time inside. No, he's out on licence, he has to keep clean. Yeah, well, he's, he's dealing drugs again. We don't know that for definite. Do you think Sarah's lying? I just know I've come to this a bit late and... I just assumed Charity would be all right with this, but how wrong was I? To be fair, she has had her own problems. Well, that's no excuse. She's let Debbie down, big time. Right, panic over. Can you not pick up your phone? Well, I was rushing here. Found her, thanks to modern technology. How is she? Yeah, well, when we got there, looked like they were just about to get down to it, which was a little bit grim. But yeah, we caught the situation in time. So where is he now? Well, I've no idea. Funnily enough, he didn't hang around for introductions. This is all your fault. You don't communicate with kids by shouting at them. Oh, really? Says the great parenting expert. Well, is it any wonder that she's living with me now? Well, fat good that did. Moira's mom's girls have taken a bit of a nosedive, haven't they, since her darling brother showed up? Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, of course, because Moira's so untouchable, isn't she? Whereas me? Oh, yes, yeah, slag me off all you want if it makes you feel better. Debbie doesn't know the half of it. What a drunken mess you've become, and now your son can't stand to be near you. Fine, well, grass me up, then! Shut up, the pair of you! I'm not surprised Sarah left, because you don't talk, you shout. At least started it. Well, it stops now. Sarah is going through a hard time in a minute. Getting mixed up with Danny again, she's in way over her head. Her and Debbie need support. Hello, what do you think I've been doing? I've been scouring the countryside, whereas face it, what's he been doing? I said, that's enough. You two, you pass the ball between each other and it's pathetic. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank God Debbie's home. <laughs> 